So now we can jump down here and we can look at the end of the telescope. Back here, you will likely see six individuals, either screws or in my case, it has these bolts with these nice caps so you can move them with hand. You might have to use tools for this. Normally the smaller ones would be the locking screws that locks the primary mirror in place. And the larger ones is going to be the adjustment screws we use to make adjustments to it. I will start by loosening up the locking screws. These are the whites for me. Usually that's the small screws on most normal telescopes. Now I have to go up and look at the laser dot up at the color meter at the top. And then I need to make fine adjustments to these three bolts here until I get that laser dot hitting the center. So you can see there the laser dot right there. We're not center. I'm going to try to turn one of the bolts here. And now you can see, see how it moves around. That means I need to move it this direction. We're moving close to the center. Okay. There, we're pretty good, I think. We're still hitting it right on the edge, so I need to adjust with the others. That's not the right direction. There, now you can see it disappeared there into the center. And that means now the laser is coming perfectly down here in the secondary mirror, hitting the center of the primary mirror, bouncing straight back and straight out that hole there. With that done, I can now go ahead and take my locking screws here i can turn those in and if you're using tools be careful not to over tighten these else you can end up with what's called pinched optics where the mirror will actually get bent slightly out of shape if you tighten these too much so, so just you know hand tight so that it just keeps the mirror in place without like locking locking it down but once you've done that we can now turn off our laser and we're ready to go